Hello students, in this video we are going to solve question number 2 from exercise 4.1 from the PMI chapter. So this is a given statement 1q plus 2q plus 3q plus 4q till all the way up to nq is equals to n, n plus 1 by 2 whole square. So first what we do? Let the given statement be p of n. We let the statement be p of n. So this is p of n and here we choose the n term from both the side of the equation and we replace n by 1. So here are the n term from both the side of the equation and we are replacing it by 1. So all the n here are replaced by 1 and what we ultimately get is 1 is equal to 1. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. In the first step we just proved that the given statement pn is true for first natural number. Next step 2. In the step 2 we need to assume that the pn, the given statement pn is true for other natural numbers also that is n is equal to k. So here what we do, we replace all the n by k and here the n's are replaced by k and let us name this equation as 1. In the step 3, in step 3 we need to prove that p of n is true for n is equal to k plus 1 also. So what we do, we replace all the k here by k plus 1. The k is replaced by k plus 1, this k is re also replaced by k plus 1 and even this k is replaced by k plus 1 and this 1 is from here and whole square divided by 2. So this is what we need to prove now. We need to prove that the whole left hand side is equal to right hand side. We need to get the exact copy of this term in the left hand side. When we solve the left hand side, we need to get the exact copy of this term. Okay, so coming back to pk plus 1. Here you can see the numbers here are in the decreasing order. That is 3, 2, 1. So if there is k plus 1 here, there will also be a term k preceding it, isn't it? Yes. And this cube, because we have a cube all over. Next. See here, we have the term from 1 cube all the way up to k cube. This terms are exact copy of the terms here. So now we replace this terms, this dotted terms with k, k plus 1 by 2 whole square, isn't it? We always replace this term by pk here. So we will replace this term by k, k plus 1 by 2 whole square and not to forget k plus 1 whole cube. Now when we split this, we get k square, k plus 1 whole square divided by 4. So now we can take the LCM here. When we take the LCM, we get this terms. Now you can see that there, are, there is k plus 1 common here. If you find something common, instead of directly simplifying it, take out the common terms so that it will be very easy for you. So here what is common? k plus 1 whole square and k plus 1 whole cube. In that you can take k plus 1 whole square common. So what will be remaining inside is k square, k plus 1, or 1 whole square already taken as common plus 4 and what remains here is only k plus 1. I have elaborated this terms here that is k square is k square, k plus 1 whole square, two times I have written here k plus 1 and k plus 1. So here plus 4, plus 4 and k plus 1 three times I have written it here. So what is common? k plus 1 and k plus 1 two times this two times is common. We have k plus 1 here also, here also that is two times we have here. That's why k plus 1 whole square we take common and k square plus 4 and what remains here is only 1k plus 1, isn't it? So k plus 1. Next, here I'll multiply the terms that is 4 times k will be 4k and 4 times 1 will be 4. So k square plus 4k plus 4, I can take out the factors from this term. I can take out the factors like as such that is k square 4k I can write it as 2k plus 2k plus 4 and I get the factors as k plus 2 and k plus 2 which I which I can also write it as k plus 2 whole square. So instead of this term I can write the factors of this term that is k plus 2 whole square. So here instead of this term I write the factors of this term that is k plus 2 whole square. So now in the answer what I need is I need the square in the answer the whole square I need. So here I get the square here, I got the square here and I can get the square from here also. That is if I square this, I mean the 2 square will be 4, isn't it? So I write this under the form of 2 square. 
so now the whole term i can write it as the square so instead of writing this square separately i'll write the whole square and this is what we wanted and from this we have proved that the left hand side is equals to the right hand side here isn't it k plus 1 k plus 1 plus 1 will be k plus 2 itself so so with this we prove that left hand side is equals to right hand side hence p of k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true and by pmi p of n is true for all the natural numbers